Hello everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction video as, as you can tell, it's another Markiplier video and I'm pretty sure yesterday, which is, which was the Super Bowl Sunday, whatever you want to call it, I don't know, but you saw, I guess, the return to gaming. Now, I don't know how that might be because I haven't actually recorded it yet but we'll we'll see what happens but is if you have if you're not aware to new West viewers of mine the last time I played a video did a gaming video was back in December and there's a good reason for it because I want to live longer and I don't want to die young I don't want to have died from a brain hemorrhage or an aneurysm Meaning, let's just say, I got really angry. Call of Duty World War II was the first. And, oh boy, I got really angry to the point I was maniacally laughing a tiny bit. I'm like, fuck this, I'll go to Star Wars Battlefront then. Get my mind off World War II. Think that would be the case, but nope. Nope, of course not. Hello everybody, my name is Mark Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I just did that by accident. But I went to Star Wars Battlefront 2. Thought I can get my mind off the rage over there. Nope, it just still follows me wherever I go. And it just was ten times worse. And I'm like, alright, I am done with gaming for a while. Let me take a break from gaming. I want to live a little bit longer. Let me just get my mind off it for a while. And hopefully, I'm pretty. I'm hoping that the people are looking forward to that. If you haven't seen it already. But anyways, back to the topic at hand. Markiplier reaction video, once again. So, it looks like this was obviously, I guess, around the time of... I'm pretty sure this is like the day that the punishment happened. Like, in terms of when he recorded this video, because as I could tell by the shirt he's wearing, which is those, those flowers. <laughs> the, that flower patterned elusive shirt, which is the same shirt he wore when he got the punishment done. So I'm pretty sure he recorded that, and then Tyler comes in like, Hey, I got this, um, script for you to do. The one-man show. But anyways, it seems like the... He's doing these quizzes, like online quizzes or whatever. And it's apparently Cosmo quizzes are bullshit. That's pretty much what he's thinking. So I wonder why is it bullshit? So let's find out. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to another quiz video. This time we're going to be taking a road down that we haven't done before. What? This time <laughs> we're going to be trying something we've never done Go down a road we've never been before. before. What? Uh, uh, this time we're gonna try something stupid. Not that the quizzes that we've done before haven't been stupid. No. I mean, they've been about me. So of course Mostly you, stupid. Jack. So it's a your... common joke on the internet that Cosmopolitan doesn't make any sense. Both in the advice that they give and in the quizzes that they have. So, I'm gonna follow down these roads because I've cherry-picked just a few quizzes that I think you guys want to know about me. Much like this one. Which Disney prince is your, your soulmate? soulmate? Which animated hunk will be your bay for life? Oh, no, good lord. I dropped a few points reading that sentence. But either way, <laughs> who wouldn't want to know which guy is my soulmate? Which Disney prince is my soulmate? Specifically. Not just generally which guy, but which Disney prince. And in my mind, it might be this guy. This hmm. fucking guy right here. From the lawn? Guy. I don't really know. I don't know. You know what? This is good. I mean, music park, a workout class, and a dinner at a restaurant. I embarrassed myself on the internet. Like, that hasn't happened before. Helicopter uh, ride to I the Hamptons. I have horrible dark secrets about myself. Okay. Choose a first date spot. Amusement park, a workout class, dinner in a dimly lit restaurant, ice cream sandwiches at sunset, helicopter ride to the Hamptons. Well, okay. The amusement park is fine. A workout class is weird. <laughs> dinner in a dimly lit restaurant. Why do you have to call Cliche. it a dimly lit restaurant? You can't have it like romantically lit restaurant. It has to be a di 
Yeah, it's, it's got to be dimly lit instead of romantically. Restaurant, just a pitch black restaurant. Like, oh my god, that's a fucking horror movie right there. Hell, <laughs> good lord! Like, so, you couldn't see anything. You couldn't There's see the a... menu. What about this there shit? was a restaurant that I've been to in New York City. It was like a Jekyll and Hyde thing. Hi. Come on in, come on in. Okay. Out the back preparing a beautiful sensory experience. Tonight you will be dining in the dark. The lights. Oh my god. Whoa. Why? Go. Hey, night vision goggles. It's so weird, man. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Exactly. We gotta think of cool ideas and interesting for views. No, I rue. Well, fuck off with this. <laughs> really? Frozen pizza? I fucking love DiGiorno. Give me a goddamn DiGiorno sponsorship. <laughs> Ice cream sandwiches at sunset doesn't make sense either. Really? That's like the end of the day. Helicopter ride to the Hamptons? Why the fuck would you want that? Just get an amusement park. So I was just gonna go with the other, amusement park anyway. Me. What's the most important quality you look for in a guy? Abs, kindness, how many Instagram <laughs> followers he has, his hair, followers his bank have. account. Yeah! Yeah! If he doesn't text you back right away, what do you do? Does he spam his phone, phone with more, more text? Text a total response. Get on with your life. You'll respond when he has a minute for blessing the world with his presence. Text, text one of his friends. friends. Call him, sex, sex him. him. Well, that's a bold move. I'm just gonna spam him nonstop, cause <laughs> just what like all trouble? my internet friends. They don't like me. Which Kardashian Jenner sister do you identify with the most? I don't know any None of them. them. Except for Kim. I don't even want to know that one. Why are they all K names? Why are they all K names? This doesn't uh... make any sense. <laughs> I don't know. This is where I'm gonna horribly embarrass myself. I don't know who these people are. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go with. Oh shit. Kendall. Okay. Choose okay. a froyo topping. Condensed milk. milk. Cheesecake cubes. Milk. Cheesecake cubes. That's pretty good. Moki, not Moki. Moki. Gummy so, bears. I've just angered the internet, haven't I? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking oh, shit. Wire doesn't like fucking Moki! <laughs> I'll take the cheesecake cubes. These are none of the fucking mokey. Do, but let's do this. Prince Charming. Prince got money, Charming. The looks, perfect teeth, even. Really, he checks uh. off every box. He just doesn't really have a personality. But look how perfect he is. <laughs> He's just the uh. Shit! I don't want Prince. The above Charming. average Who the fuck. fuck. Is Prince Charming? Who He's from Cinderella, I Prince think. Charming. What is my froyo topping? Have anything to do with that? Anyway, moving on with that quiz. You know, get on with your lives. I, I can't, I can't, I can't be bothered to know. <laughs> Which uh, Hemsworth okay. is this? Does this sexy body part belong to Luke Liam or Chris Hemsworth? Test your Hemsworth <laughs> expertise. Oh, good lord. Ten, brought to you by Peggy Truong. Which Hemsworth is this? <laughs> I see Alec Baldwin. That, that's Alec Baldwin. That's Alec... Baldwin. Look, it's fucking Alec Baldwin. Look, I'm not joking you. That's fucking Alec Baldwin. <laughs> what about this beautiful beard? Chris? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I didn't know there were three Hemsworth. Where's Alec? Can I write in Alec Baldwin? Liam? No, Luke. Luke? Huh? Chris? Okay. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Chest area. Warner uh, Brothers. Uh, Luke? Fuck. Uh, Chris? Uh, Chris? Uh, uh, Liam? Uh, uh. Chris? <laughs> the top? Hey, Chris! Wait a minute, don't fuck on me. I'm just gonna bet Chris because he probably has the most pictures. How'd I Door. Do? You got You're 59%. You're not the expert. You're not, the an expert. You're an expert. not yet the master. Yet, not yet a master. Your knowledge of the brothers is not quite there. You'll get to You're the promised on, land of Ab soon. The promised land of Ab soon. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? What the fuck is that? What does that mean? The promised land of Ab's doesn't make any goddamn sense. more classic cosmopolitan. Will he be will, great in bed? Will he be <laughs> great in bed? 
Because that's what oh, you want man. more than anything in the world. Meeting a guy you like is so freaking, freaking exciting. exciting. But wondering whether or not he's going to be able to get you off can be dot 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 less exciting. exciting. Take this quiz and find out if he has the capacity to... Make your vagina... <laughs> <laughs> oh. your vagina as happy as your brain. <laughs> I can replace it, some, replace it with make your prostate as happy as your brain. Cosmo. <laughs> how often does he ask you how your day was? All the time. It's one of my favorite things. Sometimes, but usually we just talk about random stuff. Not that often. I usually tell him how I'm doing my thing and stuff. Sometimes, but usually we talk about random stuff. How does, does it, it feel, feel when he touches you in a super casual way? It doesn't happen that often, but when it does, I think it's by mistake. Still, yeah. it feels good because he's super hot. Reassuring, <laughs> kind of sexy. Reassuring but kind of sexy. Yeah, but he hasn't really touched me yet. I feel like he even did. My body would explode. I'm pretty sure that's what everybody would do. What's he like on the dance floor? Oh, you know. I'm rocking and stealing the dance floor. I'm working it. Work it, Justin. I am kind of dorky, but he's trying. I think. Often does he make fun of you for stupid little things. You're an idiot sandwich. I'm super nice. When he's annoying you, and you're like, okay, stop. Stop it. Does he stop it? Yeah, but not. Before doing it one more time. Good measure. Yeah, that's it. How comfortable do you feel around him? Uh, this one. Is he a pretty confident dude? Yes, he definitely knows how great he is. Sounds like me. How was your first kiss? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> a little much. A little much. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's probably that one. How often does he make serious eye contact with you? Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, you know. Oh, you know. Oh! Here and Never there. had a first kiss oh, ever. Yeah, that's shocker. It goes on a little too long, and I'm like... Holy hell, too much. How do you feel about yourself when you're <laughs> that t- Holy hell. This, I can't answer this from my perspective. Like I'm How do you really feel about yourself when you're around him? Whether or not I feel super hot depends Since on the moment. I at least feel like a rad chick. chick. How dare this quiz generate <laughs> <laughs> these assholes? Be tough to know until you try. Try. Wow. Oh, you don't see <laughs> Fuck, I don't know until you fucking do it. <laughs> of course. Oh, I see. This guy has clearly has been a lot going for, going for him, but whether or not he's going to it's rock your clear. vagina remains to be seen. One this one's probably going to come down to chemistry, but if you co- if you communicate and he's open, he stands a pretty good chance of being a stellar in bed. <laughs> Social media habits by Eve Pizer. Okay, I'm gonna answer. What kind of phone do you have? Truly, as best I can. I've got the, the iPhone is way too old, but I'm saving up for one, of course. Can do it more I'm on Instagram way today. too much. What do you think of LinkedIn? I I have no, never used it. Is that what old people are on these days? Yeah. I'm What's your favorite old. social network? <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> Alright, what's your favorite social media network? Twitter? Instagram. Have you ever gone a whole day without checking your social media? Oh my god, never. I would die. Yeah, actually, yeah. Which emoji be- Oh god. Tears of joy. Uh, which emoji best describes you? The thumbs Tears of joy. Emoji. Yeah, it seems How do you right. meet your significant you meet other? Your significant other? never oh, did. On Tinder. Uh, what do you typically Instagram? Edits, cosplays, and just random with my crappy photos of mine. By myself. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much exclusively selfies. Oh. Nothing but that. What, what else could you not live, live without? without? Maybe Instagram? Uh, I could theoretically live without all my map- maps. Ah, I don't know. Instagram's pretty important to me, so I'm gonna go with that. What's the most embarrassing thing you could post on Sophie? Me so selfie? Me, me uh, shirtless? Selfie, a screenshot of my bank account. I'm not easily embarrassed. 
Yeah, I'm not easily embarrassed. None of those would be terribly bad for me. You are. <laughs> You're 14. 14. You gained seven oh, years, God. man. I'm 14. You hear that, guys? 14 year old Marky Moo coming through the door. <laughs> yeah. I doubled my age. Yeah. Lastly. You gained seven years. That's something to look forward to. Oh, anyway, that, was, that was the Cosmo quiz. That's a bag of asses. If that does I'm going to go shoot my. I'm sorry I made you go through that. I'm sorry. I have to end this before it spreads. No one take any of these quizzes. I'm the only one qualified to be able to survive it, but my computer is infected with the stupid. So I'm going to end this once and for all. So let me know down in the comments if you want to do another one of these. He's holding his computer at gunpoint. I need another computer before I do because this one's going out the window. So... Thanks again, everybody, for oh, watching. Oh, good lord. And as always, I will see you in the next Oh, video. I know where it's going. Bye-bye! Really, Mark? Really, Mark? Did you really need to do that at the end? There was no need for that. Honestly, I don't know why that to be continued thing is, a tr is funny. Never found it funny. Like, I get it, like, you want to see what happens, but still, it's like, they try to make it funny. I don't find it funny, I don't know, maybe it's just not, maybe it's just me, not, it's just me. But hey, uh, if you find it funny, that's fine. I'm not gonna discredit, disown you in any way, it's just my public, my personal opinion. Eh, some things I just don't find funny, and the weird things I find funny. But, uh, yeah, and I felt like answering the, some of the questions there, um, one of them was like, how, how was your first kiss like, um, and I'm like, I was, I was going to say, well, never had one yet, and that's a shocker, right, never, I am 21, never had a first kiss, only in my dreams. Which is dead. But, uh, <laughs> um, it was really funny with the one with, um, he'll make you rock your vagina like your brain. <laughs> what? You don't say. And I would, now, whenever I think of, like, stuff like that, I just think of that weird fan fiction I read that happened to involve me and Mark. Look, I did not ask for it. This person decided to volunteer and write this. And was it, it was a doozy. It was a doozy. It was a doozy, okay? It was a doozy every day. Why did I just go with it? I don't know. Maybe it was one of my coworkers who, I don't know, he sounds Spanish a little bit. He always says, every day, every day. I don't know why. And I just go, every day I'm left by myself. But anyways, back to the topic. Well, and I, back to the joke, which I, I said I was going to, I replaced vagina with prostate. Because, let's just say, some things were inserted in, oh, right up in the prostate. I'm not going, that's how far I'm gonna go with that, but just, I don't want to make you imagine what the fuck was happening. I just don't. <laughs> I just don't know why. It's just the weirdest fucking visual I've ever pictured in my mind. It's, I'm not gonna say who was doing it. Like, who, which of one, one of us was the one who was doing it. I'm just gonna say... Uh Bad visual. It was a fucking bad visual. <laughs> James the Pyre away. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction to Mark not liking those Cosmo quizzes. And the fact that he gained seven years, he grew up seven years in a span of one quiz. <laughs> it's just really funny. 
So now he's 14, technically, but I still consider him mental age of 7. Or really, 8, if you would think about it. I don't know. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Be sure to also check out my Instagram because I make cool ads of Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, even myself. I also do reenactments and cosplays, so go check it out if you want. So until next time, JRDL969, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.